Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics Duo here. Today we have a 2004 Freightliner school bus with the C7 CAT engine. The driver's complaint on this vehicle is the horn doesn't work. The driver told me that when he presses the horn button on the steering wheel, nothing happens. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the horn circuit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm the driver's complaint. After confirming the driver's complaint, we're gonna talk about what directions we're gonna go so we can fix whatever that's causing the horn to not work on this bus. So now let's confirm the driver's complaint. So let's see what we got. I'm going to press the horn button. As you can see, I'm pressing the horn button. Nothing is happening, okay? So driver's complaint confirmed. I'm gonna turn the key on. Let's see if it's gonna work with the key on. So right there, as you can see, the key is on. I'm pressing the horn button. Nothing is happening, okay? So once again, driver's complaint confirmed. I'm gonna turn off the key. Let's put the key back here. All right, we have confirmed the driver's complaint. The horn indeed does not work. With the key off or with the key on, we push the horn button, nothing happens. Now, the horn circuit is a very simple circuit. The horn circuit consists of the horn itself or the horns. I believe this vehicle has two horns. I mean, the bus has two horns and there is a horn relay, a horn fuse, and a horn switch on the steering wheel, okay? And the wiring that connect all these components. Now, the horn not working can be caused by a defective horn, a open fuse, a defective relay, a bad switch on the steering wheel, or an open in the wiring. Now, what I like to do is I like to start with the easiest component I can get access to. And in this case, the easiest component to access is the horn themselves, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the horns and make sure that the circuit is good. We're gonna disconnect the horns and we're gonna use a test light to bypass the horns. We're gonna disconnect the electrical connector at the horns. We're gonna connect the test light to the horn wires and then we're gonna press the horn uh, switch to see if the test light lights. If the test light lights, that will tell us that the circuit is good, then at that point, the problem will be the horn themselves, okay? Before we look at the wiring diagram, before I pull up a wiring diagram and see how this horn circuit is wired, most horn circuits are wired the same way. So let's go to the horn first and do some checks at the wiring. If we don't have power and ground at the horns, then we're gonna work our way up to the switch, okay? So now let's go to the horns and do some tests. We're gonna open the hood so we can get access to the horns. And our horns are right here by the air filter box. So as you can see, we have two horns. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect one horn and then we're gonna use a test light across these two wires to bypass this horn, okay? So actually, I'm gonna reconnect it. Okay, so we're gonna do our test over here. I'm going to back probe the first wire just like that and then we're gonna back probe the second wire okay so just like that so now we're gonna use our jumper wires to connect our back probing tools to the test light All right, I am going to connect one 
jumper wire to one side of the test light and then the other jumper wire I'm gonna connect it to this side of the test light I'm gonna put my test light right here okay I'm gonna find a way to get the wire out of the way okay so now our test light is connected to the wiring of the horn actually I can disconnect the wiring now we don't need the wiring to be connected okay so right now the test light over here is bypassing the horn so now I am going to go in the vehicle and press the horn switch I want you guys to watch this test light All right, so I pressed the horn switch, but the light is not lighting. Let me make sure I'm making good connection here. Okay, so the light doesn't light. Let's make sure we're making good connection. I'm going to try to connect to the connector of the second horn. Maybe we have an open between this connector and this one. The key is on in the bus. I hope you can hear the buzzing noise. So we're going to back probe these two wires again. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in the bus and press the horn switch. So watch that light. Alright guys, so I pressed the horn switch with the key on and with the key off. Nothing happened to the light. The light didn't light. So that tells me that we're not getting good power and good ground at the horn okay so the horns are not being energized so now let's figure out where the horn relay is or the horn fuse so we can test that first i believe it's going to be easier to figure out where the horn fuse is i'm going to find out where the horn fuse is and then i'll bring you guys back up so we can check it before we go test the fuses let's test our test light Okay, because you might say maybe your test light wasn't good. So let's see. I got my test light connected to battery ground. I'm gonna touch power. Right there, I touch power, my test light lights. Okay, so our test light is good. Now I'm going to connect my power probe to the battery. Okay, this power probe is gonna help us test the fuses in the bus our fuse box is in the bus and finding a good ground in the bus can be challenging so I'm going to connect my ground over here and then power to be positive okay so now I'm going to feed my power probe through the window Okay, so that way we know we have good power and good ground at the power probe. So now let's go in the vehicle and test the fuse. Our power probe is powered from the battery. So now I'm going to connect the ground on the power probe to our ground side of the test light. Right there, test light is grounded. If I send power on the other side of the test light, it's going to light. So right there so that's good we have good ground at the test light here is our fuse box so we're gonna open it so just like that we're gonna find our horn fuse in the fuse box so here is our horn fuse right there look at fuse 6 you see this fuse over here fuse 6 
it says horn fuse slash breaker okay it's a 15 amp fuse or a 15 amp breaker we need to find fuse 6 so over here so I'm looking at the fuse layout as I'm talking to you so fuse 6 is going to be this one over here if you look closely over here it says 6 up here I don't know if you can see right there it says 6 so this is fuse 6 this should be our fuse uh, for the horn so now I am going to switch the key on so key is on now we're going to test this fuse so right there test light light when we touch one side of the fuse now let's touch the other side right there test light lights on both sides of the fuse okay so our fuse is good the problem is not the fuse all right so now let's find our horn relay i'm going to turn off the key so the horn fuse is good so now we're going to find the horn relay i looked up service information our horn relay lives somewhere over here okay so the horn relay is behind this panel now to get to the horn relay we have to remove this panel so we can get to it but before we do that i want to check the switch first let's check our horn switch and make sure the switch is good before we go rip stuff apart over here so we can get access to the horn relay so let's remove this switch and test it okay because we could just have a bad switch so to remove this switch we're gonna have to kind of pry between the switch and the steering wheel kind of pry this gently up like this and then it's gonna come out now we're gonna lift the switch bingo there's your problem lady so right here so one wire wasn't connected and then the other one is broken so this is supposed to connect over here and this one is completely broken okay so we have to fix this wiring and after we fix this wiring I believe this horn is going to work okay so I'm gonna reconnect this wire first and this wire is a short wire so I don't know okay let's repair the wiring and reconnect the wiring to the switch and then let's see what happens I'm gonna fix this wire first I'm gonna cut this right here and we're gonna use these uh, shrink type bad connectors Now I'm gonna reuse this wiring because we don't want to put a long wire in this harness because if the wire is too long it's gonna interfere with how the switch sits so these wires have to be pretty short
you see that? As I'm crimping these wires, I grounded, I accidentally grounded this and our horn just worked. I hope you heard the horns. All right, so we are definitely on the right path. This is gonna be fixed after we reconnect it. So now we're gonna shrink this bad connector. This is a bad angle. I gotta remove my glove. And I'm gonna burn my skin. Alright, so that's good enough. We're not going to touch this wire. This other wire is good. Okay. So, I'm going to... Let's tape this up. So I gotta make sure that the contact on this connector here are good. So now I'm gonna connect these little wires on the switch. Okay, it's still not working. We're probably not making a good connection here. I'm going to use this back probing tool to test our wiring. Okay, so this over here should be the ground. Okay, so this ground is probably not good. Because when I ground, so what I'm doing is I'm just grounding this wire. Okay, so this first wire here. When I touch the nut, okay, this nut over here on the steering wheel, which is grounded, the horn works. Okay, so we either don't have ground on this wire or the switch is bad. So actually what I could do to check the switch we can so let's connect this to one side of the switch and then our jumper wire which is now connected to ground is going to go to this side of the switch now i'm going to press the switch see as i press the switch the horn works so this section of the wire here is bad so our switch is not the problem let's open up this section of the wire 
it's either this section of the wire or this connector I mean this connection around here is probably bad let's see what they did here there you go you see that so we had an open over here okay so we gotta fix this So this over here wasn't a horn issue, it was a wiring issue, okay? In this case, the wiring at the switch was bad. So the switch is good, the wiring is the problem, okay? And when you use these, make sure you use these good shrink bat connectors. So you just crimp this. Okay. And then we're going to connect this side over here. So we can now make good connection. Okay. All right, so you tug it a little bit. As you can see, it's not coming out. So that's good. So now we can use our lighter to shrink this. Oh, it's hot. Alright, so we fixed the wiring, so now we are going to connect our wiring to the switch, let's see what we got. It's fixed! Okay, so now we need to find a better position, okay, to now install the switch. Just make sure that our fret liner is going to be aligned with the steering wheel this way. So as you can see, this is fixed. I'm going to leave this right over here. The horns on this bus are now working. The problem was defective wiring at the horn switch. The horns pretty much work the same way, whether it's a bus or a car. It's a very basic circuit. You have the horns themselves the relay, the fuse, and the switch, and the wiring. We checked the wiring at the horn. We didn't have power and ground there. Then we checked the fuse. After that, we were gonna check the relay, but before checking the relay, since it was difficult to get to, I wanted to check the switch first. And when we removed the switch, we saw the broken wires at the switch. We fixed the wires, and now all is well. So I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.